like hits his head on the paper towel thing. <laughs> Today, we are watching something from Olin Rogers, uh, Ghost in the Stall story. I have no idea who Olin Rogers is. I, I don't know if he's a comedian. I'm assuming comedians. Um, he could just be a famous YouTuber. Ghost in the Stall stories, I'm thinking of something about, maybe it's gonna be weird stories about some of the stuff that he's read about things written in bathroom stalls. That's that's what I'm leaning towards right now. Uh, I know that there's some funny things written on bathroom stalls, so that'd be cool to actually see, you know, someone talking about their experiences about, you know, bathroom stalls. Roll it! Hey! Yeah, it's, you know, it's been a while. It's been, yeah. It's my first it's time. You know, I haven't told you guys a story in so freaking long. I need to tell you guys a story. Huh? Please do. Back a while, back a while, I, I, you know, I was in this Target bathroom. And I was making shortcakes. Pooping. Oh, pooping. thank you, okay. While I was in the bathroom, pooping. I was playing on my phone in silent mode, which by the way is called multitasking. Okay, put it on the job apps. I, I hear this guy come in the bathroom. He comes in the bathroom, gets in the stall next to me, okay? And I see sneakers. He started pooping next to me, okay? Luckily, I was in the post poop, okay? He was just supplying effects to the poop. You know, I didn't want him to know that I was in here. <laughs> you know, that awkward, you know, you guys are both pooping, but not saying any words. Kaplunks. And then it turns into like some awkward, like Skyping poop call. No, I don't want any part of that. Not me. So I just remained quiet. I'm gonna keep quiet. I don't want this guy to know I'm in here. I didn't want that awkwardness to happen. But in doing this, I created a new awkward moment of quietness. It was so quiet. It was so freaking quiet. I had a fly fart. It was, it was like a soft, angelic whistle. It was quite beautiful, actually. So I'm sitting in the stall. And I'm thinking to myself, it's a Monday. I got nothing going on. I'm chalk free. I'm nothing. I'm free. I'm scotch. He's just gonna be sitting there, and the other guy's doing hey, the same thing. I'm so dang clear <laughs> of anything. So I can't. I can't even think of. <laughs> so I decided, hey, I'm gonna break the silence. So I let out the most blood curdling scream. I really store in the stall. And this guy. He like freaks the crap out. All I hear is like two hands press up against the stalls. Just push. Hello? Is someone in here? Listen, I'm being serious. You about scared the crap right out of me. I appreciate the help, but I have anal muscles. You have me worried now. I, I don't know if you're dead or alive. So I hear movement. Like he's getting ready to look under the stall to see if there's somebody in there. And I know this because the guy like hits his head on the paper towel thing. And, he's just like, <laughs> and as he looks under, I pop my feet up. Okay, I didn't want this guy to know I was in there. <laughs> I can only imagine what this guy's thinking. It's like, hello? So I let this guy get relaxed. Get really comfortable right there on a the seat. And no. the guy starts pooping again. Start pooping right away, right away. Hear the complaints. Oh, so I decided, why not? You know, it's a Monday. So I let out another soul ripping scream. The guy just starts screaming. <laughs> Freaking all I hear after this is the guy like trying to like put on his pants, right? Like he's about to bust out of the stall and go into mine. But well, that's what the guy does. You know, he, I hear him burst out, go into the next stall. Psh, hey! But what this guy didn't know is in the spans of him jingling around his pants, it gave me enough cover to move from my stall into the stall right of his. So the guy burst into there. Psh. Okay, okay. I see what's going on. You are a tormented soul trapped within these stall walls. I am not your enemy. I just want to excrete this dark matter safely <laughs> and quietly. And I promise you this, I will be on my way. If you give me this one solid, I will present you with more solids. So he comes back into his stall. Tensions are dying down, and he started dropping depth charges again. It was almost like he uppercutted a Play-Doh can. I'm in the <laughs> stall. I'm in the stall next to him, kind of like this. It's a Monday. I got to do it one more time. One more final scream, okay? But not just a scream. I decided to yell, run. The roar was so loud, it was like I released the Kraken in the bathroom. It was like a man who gave birth to a roaring T-Rex that was uppercutting a Play-Doh can. It went, the hair stood up on my arms. 
Yeah, and a little bit of pee came out as well. Blood pee, because it was that loud. Like my freaking butt cheeks clenched, and it, that caused a sound on the on the seat. It just, and as I was yelling, my freaking foot dipped in the dang toilet. And I freaking, so how I released more energy. This guy, okay, gets so scared that he just bursts out of the stall, runs out screaming, <laughs> runs right out of the Target bathroom. And so I walk out of the stall, and I remember the only thing that I did was I just did a double fist to the air. Right? And I just said, I am the master commander! I don't even know why I said this, but I, it was the moment, it fit the moment. And I remember, <laughs> oh, this, this guy is... and I look over into the stall. Apparently, the guy had left his pants in the stall. No! Which means that he somehow got so scared that he slipped his sneakers out of his pants <laughs> and ran out in the target in his beefy hands. So I walk out, right, in the target, one foot soaking, and I go up to a, an employee and I'm like, hey, I don't know what happened, but somebody left their pants in the stall, in the bathroom. I remember the employee just looked at me and just says, oh, again? Again? again. Freaking again? <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed the story. Wow. Um, Short, sweet, gets to the point. Fantastic storytelling. Um, Owen, what's the last name? Olin Rogers. All right. Olin Rogers, uh, funny guy, funny guy. Great storyteller. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I didn't know what was going to happen at first. The fact that he was able to maneuver through the stalls and keep the story going and stuff. Fantastic on his part. Uh, I feel sorry for the pantless guy. Um, or that pantless guy who left targets near the end uh we're just calling him the pantless guy from now on i feel sorry for him because he's probably like scared of target probably just public restrooms in general now i'm a nervous pooer peer nervous bathroom user anyways and and i feel like if a situation like that happened to me um i'm just going to be using the restroom at my house for the rest of my life so this guy's probably trauma filled right now uh this guy has agoraphobia to the 10th degree when it comes to restrooms from now on if you are that guy watching this video message below so we can find you some counseling please uh, um if you have been in similar situations or if you know situations uh that you have been the victim of or perhaps you pulled pranks on like this go ahead and talk about it down below in the comments don't forget to send this to your friends and to like and to subscribe thank you guys